On Milwaukee Tonight, we dive into the historic Pritzloff building for a modern day Italian style happy hour. Tonight's We're Open taking us to Aperitivo. Hi, I'm Cassandra McShepard outside of Goody Gourmet. This place makes popcorn and flavors that you only dream about. So I got one question for you. What's poppin' Milwaukee? And coming to an FBI unit near you, well, kind of, a local eighth grade class graduating from an FBI program today, what the Bureau says they are set up for success. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Milwaukee tonight. It's a great evening to learn about our city's hidden gems, its people, its places, its things, all of it coming together to create this very special place we all call home. We begin with a look at what's happening in Milwaukee tonight. May is Asian Pacific American Heritage Month. The Milwaukee Rep highlighting Asian and Pacific Islander voices at 7. It is virtual. Join in on the Rep's Facebook page. If you're looking for some live music, Brewtown Eatery hosting its blues and jazz jam until 9. Get a burger, listen to a trio of blues artists hammer on the keyboard and the drums. The Sugar Maple on Lincoln Avenue hosting a name that beer night at 7. 10 bucks to play and you know, nobody loses, right? You play, nobody loses. It's a great way to learn about beer, win some prizes, all while supporting local. And we are less than 10 minutes away from the first pitch at American Family Field as the Brewers take on the evil St. Louis Cardinals. A nurse from Aurora St. Luke's throwing out the first pitch. That is the first on-field first pitch in more than a year. We're getting back to normal. Capacity right now at 25%. Starting Saturday, it grows to 50% capacity. Our Cassandra McShepard is out and about in Milwaukee County in search of those hidden gems. We find her tonight with snacks, both sweet and savory. She's at Goody Gourmet's location in Glendale. What you making there, Cassandra? Oh, myself very happy, happy Steve. <laughs> um, I am at Goody Gourmet with owner Jackie Chesser, and this place is popping to the degree that in order to get her to talk to me, I had to work with her, so we're uh -huh. going to fill up some bags? Oh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay, yes, so Jackie, first of all, thank you so much for having us here, having Milwaukee tonight yes. in your uh, establishment. Yes. Tell us, though, how did you get started? Oh, man, it was just simply my love of cooking. Okay. Yes, I thought that was my gift. Yes. And so I thought that was what I was supposed to be doing, and so I started a business based on the gift and the passion all of right, cooking. All right. mm -hmm. Well, I love that. And I look, though, at you because I have eaten your treats before, mm -hmm. I must admit. But I think about all of this mm -hmm. on popcorn. <laughs> yeah, but it's not just any popcorn, though. Okay, right. <laughs> it is made with lots of love. I suspect yeah. also that it takes a lot of faith, a lot of hard work, mm -hmm. and a lot of tenacity to keep it going. Right. Yeah. So what would you say to somebody who had a dream Mm -hmm. of popping popcorn or writing a book or doing anything, mm -hmm. what would you say to them to get them started? Well, I would say know the difference between your gift, your passion, and your purpose. Oh. And so many times we start businesses based on the gift and the passion. Yes. However, when you learn your purpose, man, oh man, that's a whole different something. So that's what drives me. So let me ask you this, Milwaukee. Do you know that when you crunch down on these goodies, that you were biting into this kind of wisdom and this kind of passion? Mm -hmm. Another great thing about you, Jackie, is mm -hmm. you actually are delving even deeper into your purpose. Yes. Tell us about, and with this new establishment, tell yes. us about that. Well, about maybe 12, 13 years ago. I was new in business and people were super excited about it. Yes. So they would come and ask, you know, hey, can you coach me on getting a business? Okay, I can do that. However, there was nothing exciting about just the steps of business. Yes. I was more interested in the people. Yes. So even when I went to business classes, courses, whatever it was, yes. there was one thing that was always said, business will introduce you to yourself. Oh. And it's like, huh. So I wrote it on front of my notebook, and from there, 
I began to study that. What does that mean? Yes. And so over the last 15 years, it, it has truly been an introduction to myself because anything that you struggle with, yes. anything that, you know, even if you're good at something, right? you know, it's going to show up. Awesome. Well, speaking of showing up, mm -hmm. we are going to do even more uh, when we come back. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll be right back. Cassandra, I hope you ask when you come back uh, how she makes that stuff so addictive. Once I start eating it, I cannot stop. It is tasty. I will check and see. All right, Cassandra, thanks. I'm coming back with secrets. <laughs> well, it is finally happening, everybody. Construction underway for the Couture High Rise on Milwaukee's lakefront. The 44-story skyscraper has been in the works, yeah, for nearly a decade. They started talking about this back in 2012. When it is complete, it will have more than 300 apartments and a public transit hub for the streetcar on the ground floor. All right, time for tonight's We're Open. Rod Burke's taking us to a local spot downtown that offers Italian-style happy hour. Aperitivo Bar and Restaurant is a new cool place that is tucked away inside the Pritzloff Building on North Plankenton Avenue. They opened up their doors two months before the pandemic hit. The vibe itself was meant to be just a place to gather and, and have conversation, you know. And uh, that, that's the basic concept of Aperitivo is the after work, uh, happy hour ritual in Italy. Uh, you, you go out and, and have some drinks after work and uh, you're given some small bites. The space inside itself is gorgeous. It's Italianate style architect with a vintage warehouse feel. Richard handles the music. The music is, it's a selection of pretty much anything chill, more or less, from the 60s, 70s, 80s. Sometimes contemporary, if I hear something contemporary, it'll go on the playlist. You know, bossa nova and jazz and funk and soul. Uh, that's all on the, on the playlist. The Peritivo restaurant in the Pritzloff building has a vintage industrial feel to it. And what you like about it is the vibe where you can dine in or do some work. Well, you know, it's uh, centrally located downtown. So it's a good place to have a, a lunch meeting. Uh, we have Wi-Fi available for free. We, we sell uh, Valentine coffee. So we have a full coffee bar in addition to the, the regular menu. Uh, we have a breakfast menu that goes till 11 in the morning. One of their big sellers on the menu is their margarita pizza. So we have a, a good selection of small plates. That includes uh, charcuterie boards, hummus. Uh, we do a Serbian lamb sausage called cevapcici. Uh, we have a good selection of pizzas. We can build your own pizza. Uh, we have uh, some salads uh, if you want something a little bit lighter. And then we also have probably 10 or 12 sandwiches on the menu. We're downtown for we're open. Rod Burks, TMJ4 News. That was a good looking turkey club there too. Search our list of local businesses you can support at TMJ4.com slash open. Some eighth grade students at Frank Lloyd Wright Middle School in West Dallas one step closer to becoming FBI agents. The Milwaukee FBI Division Office adopted the school last month and today they taught students about the history and the mission of the Bureau. It's a nationwide program. This is the sixth year the Milwaukee Bureau has adopted a local school. The takeaway for the entire program is to expose kids that are in junior high school getting ready to step into high school and, and beyond uh, to show them what law enforcement careers uh, are all about. If they start looking into what they can uh, potentially get into uh, now, uh, it's going to set them up for a great career path for the future. Students got a tour of the Milwaukee field office. They witnessed some evidence collection and they now have a graduation certificate to show for all their work. Still ahead on Milwaukee tonight, below average highs have us all longing for summer like weather. Kristen Kershane going to tell us just how long our lows will last after a break. Tell me, what do you love about Milwaukee? I love the parks and recreations that we have, great fishing, boating, hiking and stuff like that, and all of the live music festivals, the best, I love it. No, we know it is cold out for more than a week. Temperatures have run below average, but there are brighter days ahead. Here's Christian Kershane with tonight's Weather Wise. 
Below average temperatures continued for us again today. At least it was sunny outside. As we look back at the month of May so far, remember back to early May, the first three days of the month, well above average temperatures, but we've been below average since then with highs in the 50s today. The eighth day in a row with highs only in the 50s average would be 60s for this point in May. Once you average all the temperatures together, though, we're coming in just slightly below normal because we were so warm at the beginning of the month. It's not just here that we're seeing the cool temperatures as we look across the country uh, down across the south and the southeast seeing below average temperatures as well. Fairly warm out west right now as we get into Thursday, though, we start to get closer to normal. That will continue to be the case as we move from Friday into the upcoming weekend as well. Things starting to average out. And as we look ahead at the 6 to 10 day temperature outlook here, so this is May 16th through the 20th. We've got a pretty good probability to see above average temperatures. And as far as the rainfall goes, we have at least slight probability to see above average precipitation, which we could certainly use. Steve. Spring will be here eventually, won't it? Before we go to break, let's check back in with Cassandra McShepard. She's hanging out at Goody Gourmet's. What are you up to? Steve, I made it into the kitchen. And on the other side of this break, Jackie is going to teach me how to make cookie and cream popcorn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you don't want to miss this. <laughs> Taco Tuesday. If you're looking for a taco joint, our partners at On Milwaukee have you covered four places to get your taco fix. Hagia Taco on Oakland Avenue with plenty of options from steak and tomato tacos to pork and pineapple, as well as tacos made with Milwaukee brats. I guess you can taco anything, can't you? La Dama Mexican Kitchen and Bar in Walker's Point has your basics. Also, some not so common dishes, seared spiced cactus tacos or the pork taco wrapped in banana leaves. Lazo's Taco Shack boasting tacos with a flair. They've got $2 Taco Tuesdays with your choice of beef or chicken. Lastly, Paloma Taco and Tequila serving up some gluten free and vegan options like their crispy tofu or crispy sprout tacos. Again, you can taco anything. If you're a meat eater, their carne asada or spicy chicken are also worth trying. Find it all at onmilwaukee.com. Okay, now to the other goodies we're talking about today. They are at Goody Gourmets. Cassandra McShepard joining us with a look at some of the magic behind the popcorn making. I'm telling you, Cassandra, when I get the combination of the cheese corn and the caramel together, I cannot stop just kind of alternating between the two. It's, it's just like that. You know, Steve, my favorite thing to do is sleep. My favorite thing to watch is Milwaukee Tonight. My favorite thing to eat in the whole wide world is popcorn. So I have made it into Jackie's Kitchen here at Goody Gourmet. Again, thank you so much for having us in. So now, Jackie, I am in heaven. There's popcorn almost to the ceiling. Mm -hmm. How often do you pop popcorn? Oh, every day. Daily, all day long. Every day? Mm -hmm. All day long. Every day. <laughs> so all of your popcorn yes. is popped fresh daily. Mm -hmm. And then you put the magic, or you put the, yes, you zhuzh it. Yes, I do. Put the spin on it. <laughs> yes. So let's talk about the spins. Where do you come up with your recipes? Because we're about to make cookies and cream mm -hmm. popcorn. Yes. But you also have banana pudding. and Yes. And lemonade. <laughs> and lemonade. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. You're killing me, Jackie. You're killing me. All right. And lemonade. Yes. And so we have a variety of other flavors too, but I love to bake. Okay. And so I came up with the banana pudding and the lemonade because I couldn't bake. So I said, let's figure out how to put it on popcorn. Wow. So. As speaking of popcorn, because you know, some people might be sitting at home not understanding why I love popcorn like I love popcorn. Let's talk about Four things, four reasons that popcorn is good for you. Well, first of all, it's very high in fiber. Yes. It's a fun snack. Yes. And I would say that it is a very easy and fun gift to give someone. Everybody loves popcorn. Everybody does, Everybody. and it makes you happy. Okay, so you have already created this mix, and this is cookies, cream, and, cream. cookies and cream, I guess. Yes. And then we have a bowl of popcorn, mm -hmm. and you just... Yes, I just drizzle it right on over there. Well, do you think I could do the drizzle? Yes, you absolutely can. Is there, is there like a special way to no. drizzle? Do I have to be like, No, oh. the more the merrier. Just put it on there. To drizzle? <laughs> That's right. Can I primp and oh, drizzle? Oh, yes, please. As much as you like. <laughs> I'm Look, in heaven. I really then am. Then we're going to toss it. Woo! No, 
Oh, but honey, you don't stir that. You talk, go oh, ahead and put a little more on. I tell you, this is really too much fun <laughs> for me to be having on camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So after this like mixes in and it's mm -hmm. tossed in and then it sits or sets or nope, we let it, or... we let it cool. Okay. And then we break it apart and oh. voila, there we go. There you go. Look, you got that. You look. Go ahead, take my job. That ain't my first bucket of popcorn, Jack. Let me tell you the truth. All right. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, Steve, wouldn't you love to be in this kitchen? I don't need to be in the kitchen. I just need to be wherever that bowl of popcorn winds up when you're done playing with it. You got nice toss and action there, Cassandra. We'll be right back after this. That is Anna Grace. She is from Milwaukee and she is battling for a spot on The Voice. Last night she sang Let Her Go by Passenger, got a standing ovation from the judges. Tonight we find out if that's enough to get her into the next round. We'll learn Anna Grace's fate in just a couple minutes. Here's your primetime lineup The Voice at 7, a new episode of This Is Us at 8, New Amsterdam at 9, and TMJ4 News at 10. Thanks for joining us for Milwaukee tonight, Cassandra. I'm sure that bag of popcorn that you made right there is going to go right to your house and we're never going to see it. You know what, Steve? This is actually the special recipe for tomorrow. And we could use another pair of hands because mm -hmm. we're now like lifting it up and folding it. So cookies and cream is mm -hmm. what Jackie's patrons uh, will be able to enjoy tomorrow. And I want you to know as you're chomping down on it, Cassandra had a hand in this. <laughs> Gloved hands, but a hand. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Steve. Thanks you, a lot, Milwaukee. I hope you charge Thank us a little you. bit extra because it's Cassandra special. Remember, TMJ4 News just, always streaming 24-7 on Roku and through the TMJ4 News app. I will see you again on the other side of primetime.